another Crazy Legs video. Thought I'd uh, give you an update on my Mimesia nigrosyncta colony. You might remember them. I started this from a single queen about two years ago. And I've moved them into this large Hebel formicarium I built. You might remember it from a previous video. I would say there's about 200 or so ants that make up this colony. I absolutely love scaling to the peak of this tower and surveying their territory. Their little antennae waving about, gathering information. Let's take a look inside. To excuse the lighting, I'll just grab a torch to be able to see what we've got here. They've just moved into spring in Australia, so they're starting to become more active. You can see most of the action takes place in the wet room, which is at the bottom left corner there. Take a closer look, you can see there's a pile of about 40 or so larvae on the water pot. These guys weren't mucking around through winter, building up a sizeable brood for the coming warmer weather. The chamber above the water tower, there's a pile of 20 odd larvae. Might be a bit hard to see through the haze. Then we move to the chamber above that, and there's a pile of eggs. I'd say there's about 20 or so there. I believe that's the queen coming in to take a peek at how they're doing. chamber above that has another pile of about 20 odd eggs. The queen makes her way from chamber to chamber to check on her brood throughout the day. But the two chambers above that have been filled with rocks in preparation for larvae that are ready to spin their cocoons. They'll be brought up here and uh, placed amongst the rubble to do their spinning. It's always a hustle and bustle near the entrances. And no chance of any intruders coming in through there without being spotted. That's the first side. It's hard to do a head count, but I would say there's about 100 to 150 ants 
on that side. You can see down in this bottom right corner that chamber's filled with cocoons and rubbish. That's actually the deepest chamber in the nest. Most ants will use the deepest chamber as a sort of a compost pile to recycle the rubbish back into the earth. On the front side we have uh, another 50 odd ants. This is deeper down inside the nest. Again to the bottom left you can see that where they're stuffing the old cocoons and rubbish in the, in the deepest chamber, creating that compost pile. Closer look at the wet room on this side. You can see there's some more developed larvae another pile of about 40 to 50 odd larvae in there. I would say this season this colony is looking at doubling in size. Looking over to the left here a bit, you can see there's one cocoon. It's the first of the season. There's going to be a lot more cocoons filling these chambers very soon. So that's inside the nest of my Mimesia nigrosincta colony. They seem to be thriving in this uh, large formicarium. Let's give them some breakfast. As with any pet, I feed them daily. A couple of crickets and some watered down honey. Really doesn't take them long to sniff it out. First worker to stumble upon the crickets. She's fumbling around a bit there, trying to deliver a sting. Wait, what's this? A second cricket? What am I going to do? Whoa, whoa, I've got this one. Go get the other one. She may 
makes that steep climb look easy. Short while later, we have the second cricket making its way back to the nest. things warming up here in Australia these guys are really starting to become more active let's hope they uh, continue to thrive thank you very much for watching I'm happy to answer any questions you have in the comments below catch us on the next one